Hey Epic7 players, Sodi here back again with a new E7 video. So today I'll be pulling for Cavalry. So I'm very excited for this unit, I think he's totally amazing, so let's go for him. Alright, second pull. Actually I already did four pulls beforehand, just for fun, so... Oh, Shuri, not bad. Good for imprint. I already triple, um, triple S'd my Watcher Shuri, so that will be for my Fire Shuri. The artifact's really good too, if you can max limit break it. It gives you 24% crit right off the bat. That's a lot of stats. Wow, is this the artifact? Just talking about it. Hopefully it is. I really like the art. It is. Wow. Superb artifact. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, so we got a copy of the artifact. Really happy with that. Wow, lots of gold. Really nice. Hmm, what are we getting here? Another... Nope. Four star, okay. I haven't pulled the new four star knight artifact. The AoE attack version of Hillock. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, I really want that artifact. It's really good. Alright, hmm. So Karik, you can't use him on defense because he goes for his third skill before his second skill. So you want him to use his second skill first. So yeah, he's not a unit to be used on defense. Okay. Hmm. Like we're not getting much now. Any golds? No. Nope. Okay, bring it on. Hmm. Another artifact. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right, ten pulls to go until I buy some more bookmarks. Hmm. <coughs> so I'll do a moonlight pull at the end. I think I have enough for one moonlight. Alright. I normally refresh the secret shop, but I'm kinda low on gold, so I'll just buy bookmarks this way. Alright, final 100 bookmarks. See if I can get him. Okay. Fingers crossed. Nope. Okay. Another getting lots of four star artifacts. If I get him, I'm gonna build him speed with some damage. He's obviously a bizarre counter, but he can also counter many other units because of his high base speed. 
you can make it so he goes first versus a lot of uh, def uh, defenses both in arena and guild wars and I'm pretty sure he's gotta be really good in RTA too alright this is a new artifact guess I can't skip Andre's crossbow hmm I think this takes away souls yeah not bad so it's a PvP artifact all right four pulls left okay Alright, so I did not get it, um, I have 52 pulls to go, and I think I got like, just under 2 weeks to get him, so that's, so that's plenty of time in order to pull him. Alright, let's do the Moonlight pull, let's see if I can get lucky here. Nope. <laughs> Celeste isn't bad, her imprint is speed. Well, Alright, I got 70 sky stones, I can just, um... I can just do some refreshes here. Everything comes and goes here. Money, goods, and of course, information. Good. Okay, mystic medals, really good. I average about 400 sky stones per mystic medal in the secret shop. So we could not pull a Karak there, but we did get his artifact. Really nice. Um, I'm actually really happy with the artifact because you cannot pity summon the artifact, but you can pity summon the unit. So I'm definitely gonna be able to summon him in two weeks' time, just from uh, free sky stones. So yeah. Um. All right. So I just received new information regarding Karak's skill usage on defense so let me find him real quick yes yeah, so they're changing up his AI um right now he's using his third skill first but they'll make it so that he'll go for his second skill before going for his third skill on defense um it's actually really good. This means that Karak can be used to counter Bazaars. Hmm. Yeah, so if you bring your Bazaar into a defense with Karak, if the enemy's Karak is faster than your Bazaar, they're gonna go for their second skill onto the Bazaar because. Because Bazaar's. Um, Earth and Karak's fire, so Karak has the elemental advantage, and uh, units on defense will target units which have which they have elemental advantage over. So Karak's gonna go for his second skill, and this will increase Bazaar's cooldown skill cooldown making it so that Bazaar cannot go for his third skill. So yeah, he's gonna basically perform like um like Kron on defense, but Kron does not have a strip. Karak does have a strip though, so if your Bazaar has immunity set, uh he can still work versus a Kron. But he will not be able to work versus Karak. 
an immunity set is not gonna save you bizarre from Carrick, so that's actually pretty good. So you can use Carrick on defense now, but you have to build him with speed. Your Carrick will need to be able to outspeed the bazaar. So basically 260 plus speed if you wanna if you want your Carrick to be successful at countering bazaars. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um Will he be a good unit on defense overall? I can't say for certain. I mean he's still pretty squishy. But yeah, he will be fun to play around with for sure. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you have any comments or questions regarding the new artifact or unit, you can comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to join my Epic 7 Discord. The link is down below in the description. And yeah, have a great day guys. Sodi signing out.